thank you all for your time today. My name is Devanshi Beta. This is Henry Nguyen, Jeff Fenster, and Eric Traub. And this is Comic Pow Wow, a mobile application for creating comic books with your friends. For our final project, we wanted to build something fun and visual that would let people express themselves as storytellers, maybe create a funny meme, or turn a shared experience into a real-time comic feed. We felt that going mobile would lend itself best to real-time collaboration, allow us to use the phone features, and design with a touch, a touch screen interface. We decided to use the Ionic framework and plugged it into Mongo and Firebase on the back end. Now to walk through some of the application, we have Henry. Thanks, Avanchi. Now I'm logging in as Henry. We envision Comic Powwow to be a social networking app. So on my user profile page, I have my username. I can also snap a selfie as my comic avatar. And like any good social network in the early days, it should be easy and, and intuitive to invite my friends. So I can invite friends from my phone contact list. When I go to my home page, I see a list of stories that I make previously or stories of friends that I contributed to. Also, we were able to, um, to tap into the phone editing functionality by using a variety of Cordova plugins, such as the phone camera, image library, and phone contacts. So unfortunately, at lunch today, while I was coding away, somebody stole my lunch. So I'm pretty angry, and I'm determined to investigate and find a culprit. <laughs> so I create a new story called, Dude, where is my lunch? And I proceed to use the phone camera to snap a live photo as the first panel in my story. Next, I want to turn this photo into a comic frame. To walk you guys through the process of the image comifying, I'm going to hand the mic off to my friend Jeff. Thank you, Henry. An interesting challenge we faced was allowing our users to customize each of their individual squares with filters, borders, speech bubbles, and stickers, and ultimately have each one of these layers compressed into a single image file. We accomplished this using Angular directives, custom CSS, and HTML's canvas element. Our filters are a streamlined version of the Cayman.js filter library. Our borders and stickers are high resolution versions of their thumbnail counterparts. And our bubbles are Angular directives that adjust dynamically to user input. When Henry is completely satisfied with his addition to the story, he will click the Save button, and each one of his additions will be drawn to the canvas uh, as images. On the back end, his square will be saved to each of his collaborator's stories, where in real time they will be updated with his addition to the story. To talk more about the social aspect of our application, I will pass the microphone to Eric. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, right now, you're currently viewing the story strip mode in which you can view your story as a comic strip itself. Now Henry's story has five squares in it and has began to take shape. Henry decides that he wants to allow Jeff to contribute to his story, so he adds Jeff as a collaborator. Now, in Jeff's phone, the one on the left, Jeff can see that he has Henry's story, Dude, Where's My Lunch, under his list of collaborations. Jeff clicks on the story, sees all the squares that Henry previously made, and begins to add the final square himself. Meanwhile, on the phone on the right, Henry is currently viewing his story and all the squares that are in it. Anytime that a collaborator adds a new square to the story, all the other collaborators, including Henry, can see the story update in real time. We achieved this functionality by using Firebase to store our stories and our squares. We hope you, you enjoy using this app as much as we enjoyed building it. Again, we are Comic Pow Wow, and we can be found at comicpowwow.com, and we are also in the process of deploying to the App Store, so check us out there soon. Thank you.